Hello, I want to show you a really cool room here. This is where I've spent a lot of time at the laboratory at Luleå University. This is where I did my master's degrees and also where I did my PhD. So uh, I'm now in the acoustics laboratory and this is what an anechoic room looks and sounds like. So we have this door here. It's really thick door, really, really big one. Let's open it and we go inside. Here, and then we're gonna close the door behind us. Like so. <laughs> and this place is, I would guess, as close to zero to be, oh, it, it might be even below zero. I'm not sure actually, I don't have a sonometer, so I cannot check it, but it's really quiet in here. And you see the walls and the ceiling and the floor is a net so it's a bit scary to walk on this if you're not used to used to it but now they're doing some experiments here i think they have some kind of loudspeaker here and and probably me done some microphone me measurements here i don't know actually i'm just uh, dropping by i did a lecture here today which you can see on uh, youtube or my facebook live if you're interested it's in swedish unfortunately only at the moment but for my swedish followers it could be interesting anyway this is the an anechoic room. Down there we have a really cool audio setup with an amazing sound quality. So I think the next time I go visit this place, I'm gonna make sure I have some spare time to, to listen to a piece of music or two. The walls are really thick and it's mineral wool here. And they're like this pointy shape to get maximum sound absorption. Because what happens in here is that you can only hear the direct sound from the sound source. In this case, we have the microphone in the cell phone and we have my mouth, which is emitting sound. So you hear only the direct sound and no reflections whatsoever. So if I do like this, it's just like an impulse. There is no reverberation in here at all, nothing. And it, it feels something, what like, oh, my, my ears are blocked or something, because when we enter a room of this size, it's actually quite a large room, it's, it's two stories, like this. And the visual impression tells us that this room of this size should sound in a certain way, with a quite a, yeah, some, some uh, reverberation at least. And you get nothing. No reverberation whatsoever. This, this sound environment can be found in nature. If you are, for instance, on a big field with a lot of por porous, fresh snow on it, you can experience a similar acoustic environment where you have no sound reflections whatsoever. I, I once rolled my snowmobile out to the archipelago, quite a far bit out, and I turned the engine off. There was fresh snow everywhere, quite deep. And above me, there is only sky. There are no islands, no surfaces where sound could bounce back at me. And that sounded exactly the same like this. But in that environment, it's not strange because then the visual impression and the hearing impression correlates. But in here, it's, uh, it's a really strange experience. I've been in this room so many hours, so I don't... I don't kind of bother about it anymore. But uh, if you stay in a room like this for a very long time, uh, the only thing that is producing sound in here is your heart that is pumping blood. So uh, it's, I think it's possible. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever really tried it because I've been quite busy working when I've been here. But if you stay in a room that is this quiet for a long time, you might start to hear your own heartbeats and how blood is flowing around in your body. So it's uh, it's... Really cool, cool stuff. Let's see if I can demonstrate something else here, perhaps. If I can park the phone without dropping it. Yeah, perhaps like so. And then I move a bit away from it and I do like this. It sounds kind of strange, yeah? And then also if I do like this. I think you can hear how the sound change when I rotate my 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 sound source in different directions because the sound direct 
the directivity of this sound source is different. If I speak to this direction, it sounds in one way, but if I speak to this direction, it sounds differently. And if I speak in this direction, it's going to sound differently. And then I come back like this and I move the whole circle around and then I come closer to the phone. I have no idea at all what that's going to sound like, but in theory, it should be a quite nice example. Now I'm going to leave this place and head back home. So have a really nice weekend and I hope you enjoyed this little acoustic laboratory tour. See ya!